So Christmas is coming, as we all know. And uh, so we here at the Reed House are about to put up all our Christmas decorations. But first we need to get them from our, our storage area here. <laughs> You gotta put the tree up, bud. That play time. Nope, it's tree time. <laughs> It is beautiful. What do you got going on here? I got Christmas cookies going on. You got Christmas cookies going on. Yeah, I didn't make them here. Okay. It, it, it. Oh. Got it. So I got it. Okay. okay. Oh. You're doing a good job. Okay. It's a big ball. It's a giant ball. It's like a big brain. Look at all those creams. They got yellow. And there's that one you're putting sprinkles on one at a time. We're getting there. We did it. We got them all frosted and sugar. Yum. Including our headless dinosaur. So here's my theory. My theory is that Christmas is the true manifestation of magic. And here's why. According to the Oxford Dictionary, the definition of the word magic is the power to apparently influence the course of events by using mysterious or supernatural means. Now, if you look at Christmas and the few days that surround Christmas, how else would you define it? You've got people going out to Walmart and spending hundreds and thousands of dollars to pay off layaways that people had at Walmart and people giving rolls of bills into the Salvation Army red kettles. I think that's just, well, first of all, I think it's completely awesome, but how else can you explain that, that, that change in personality other than magic? I mean, if you take apart that definition, you get apparently influencing the course of events. People are doing things that they wouldn't naturally do, that they wouldn't do the rest of the year. That's changing the course of events, if you ask me. By mysterious or supernatural means. Mysterious. Can you explain why people get into this mood that they do this? I can't. Who has any clue as to why this, at this time of year, 
people take wads of bills and anonymously give them to strangers or or go into Walmart and pay off everybody's layaway. That's crazy awesome, but completely unexplainable. So given that definition of the word magic, that's Christmas. How do we get that to go through the rest of the year? Why is it just the three or four weeks before December 25th that has this influence on people? I don't know. I mean, because it's young, it's old, it's religious, it's non-religious, it's all Cree, all color. Most people just feel different in the month of December, and I think it's wonderful. I personally, I'm saying, I think it's magic, but truly, by Oxford's definition, I think it qualifies. Now, let's just all brainstorm and figure out how to make this happen for the rest of the year. I don't know. But if we can figure out a way to do this for the rest of the year, we are golden. But I suppose we're not really going to solve all the world's problems today. So instead, I will just wish everybody, on behalf of the entire Reed family, a magical Merry Christmas. So this is our gingerbread house. This is really cool. Like all the little candy bits that you're going to put on there are all included. So how cool is that, buddy? Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah. So we cool. have... Instructions right here. We're gonna go to step one. Prepare the cookie. Place the insert on a flat surface. Got that. Ah! It's like almost like an ice cream cone, isn't it? Do a little squeeze right there. So grab this one. Gonna go right there. You got it? Squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Right on! Yeah, bring it down. And put the other one right there. How cool is that, my buddy? It's cool, though. A little bit up on the hill. On the hill. On the hill. And a little on the hill. Well, now we have to let this set. So we're going to let it sit overnight. What do you say? Yeah. Day two of our epic gingerbread house adventure. The other side was definitely better than this one. Should we open that stuff and see what, do what to do? Oop, there it is. Yeah. You want to put the windows on? Put the window on right there. Got our door and two windows right there. We need two windows on this side. Yeah, right in the middle, just like where the door was. Look at that. Bushes right under our windows. One, two, three, four, five gumdrops for the top. Oh, purple one, green. We got a green one there. Red one right there. Oh, look at this. This looks so delicious. I want to eat it up right now. Don't you? Not right now. Not right now. Okay, later? Yeah. Did you want to do the, the doorknob? Yeah. Okay. Put, yep, stick it right in there. Bloop. There's our little doorknob right there. Bloop. Okay. Bloop. Green. Okay. Bloop. Bloop. So now what do we do? You want the candy things on here? Yeah. Yeah. Stick that on there. There. It lies. Yep. All up to you. So right here, should we make our should we make our little walkway? Right on. You did a great job. What do you think of it? Pretty good? Yeah. There it is. There is the little house that we made. So I hope you like it. Subscribe. Should I hit the like button? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Alright. Okay. Yeah, big Merry thumbs up. I give it a big thumbs up. Hey. Big thumbs up. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Big
I love you. Bye-bye. Okay.